Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to our Halloween edition of Total Body Tone. Today, we are going to be doing some spectacular exercises to really make us come alive this morning. For today's class, we're going to be using a mat, a set of hand weights, and our booty bands. If you don't have your booty bands, that's okay. You can do all of the exercises without the bands. I brought a couple different ones. They have different tensions, thus making work a little easier or a little bit harder. For weights, you can have a set of light and heavies available so that you can challenge yourself in those exercises. We have four circuits today. Each circuit has four exercises and we're gonna repeat everything two times through. We're gonna keep everything low impact today, so no jumping, but I promise you, are gonna get a good sweat. So just remember, I'm your referee today and what I say goes, <laughs> Are you ready to go? Let's do this. We're gonna start with that big march in place. Warming up, let's go. Big march. We're gonna walk wide to narrow. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Oh, I hope we don't see any ghosts today. Take it out wide, tap and reach up. Yes. Reach across, let's go. Hamstring curls, kick your booty. Lifts. If you see your things running through your head, who can you call? Big arms. Man, in your bed. Who you gonna call? Repeater four. Four, three, two, switch. Yes. I Let's do that again. Tap and reach both arms this time. Push it forward. Good, we're gonna hold and guard, lift those legs. Tighten up through the arms and through the belly. Swing those arms, go. We're gonna travel with this. Couple more. Plant those feet and squat. Chin chest up. Pulses down. Four, three. Pivot turn. Pulse your lunge. Four, three. Center. Opposite direction. Double it up, let's go. Reach down, reach across. Reach down, reach across. Singles, go. Down, pivot, down, pivot. Unless you're 
Two more. Sweeping plie squats. Big. Yes. Get a little relief in those quads and glutes. Hold down. Reach side to side. March it in right here. Nice big march. Feet are narrow. Little pump the heels. And march it off. Good. Okay, we're starting with our loop and one of our weights. I'm gonna go with my medium resistance loop because we're gonna be working some legs in this first circuit. One weight, feet in a squat position. Arm in front of the chin chest. You're gonna squat, pass it over the head. Down and up we go. Passing right over the head. Melting into that squat. Good. We're going to slide our loop down. Hold your weight end to end. Right toe comes back. Single leg deadlift. Let's go. Tip. Rise up. So I'm going to show that first option without the balance. Otherwise, leg comes away. Rise up. Pressing out against that band if you want to lift that leg. That standing leg isn't moving. Nice long spine here. Ooh, weight goes down. Keep that loop by your ankles. Or right above, I should say. Right here, I want you to drop your booty down. We're gonna walk like a monster. Four, three, two, pump it here. Lift, lift. Walk back. Four, three, two, pump and lift. Push, push, push. Again, four, three, four pumps. Woo, baby. Take it back. You've got this push. So notice how my feet are staying nice and wide, leaving all that work in the quads and glutes. Four, three, grab that weight. This time, opposite foot, left toe back, stand up tall. Here we go, take a bow. If you want that opposite foot to come off the floor, you can. Breathing through the movement. Less than 10 seconds, we're gonna take the loop off and get a little recovery in. Good, okay. Little break. We are gonna put it back on and repeat those exercises.
step back up. Are you ready? One and one hand. Squat, pass over the head. Exhale as you're pressing that weight up, coming out of that squat. Last one. Good. Okay. Loop goes down. Right foot goes slightly back. Left foot is grounded. Start tall. Shave your front leg. The weight slide down to your leg. Rise up tall. Try not to round the shoulders. If you want to lift your toe away from the floor, you could try that. Otherwise, you can keep your back foot grounded for some support. So you get a little double work in this if you're using that booty loop, booty band. Not only are you stabilizing through that standing leg, but you've got that extra resistance as you press away. Three, two, weight to the side. Come to the side of your room so that you have a little runway. Feet are nice and wide. The lower that you sit into this, the more work for that booty. Here we go. Four, three, push onto the toes. Four, three, two, take it back, walk backwards. I know, it's a little nerve wracking sometimes walking backwards. You really gotta trust yourself a little bit. You've got this. Ten seconds. Are you working hard? Four, three, two, grab your weight. Left toe slightly back. Weight hangs in front of you. You can always double up your weights or go heavier if you want more work. Here we go. This is your workout today. Decide what works for you. Remember, we're hinging at our hips. So if you were to take your peace fingers and put them right in that hip socket, you would fold over that socket, over that, with a flat back. Three, two, okay, scoot the loop off. So, next circuit is gonna be upper body focused. Doesn't mean we don't use our whole body, but you're gonna feel that burn a little bit more in the upper body. If you want, we're gonna be putting our loop around our forearms. So I'm gonna go lighter, and we're gonna grab a set of hand weights. We're gonna be doing some hammer curls. So now, I'm trying to press out on that loop slightly as I'm coming up and through on those hammer curls. Again, you don't have to do this. You can just practice your hammer curls. Good. 
good. Next exercise, we're just gonna lose our loop. If you don't have a loop, you're gonna use one of your light weights. Right foot back. I want you to put yourself into a lunge. Arms up. Hold your loop. Dip down. Right arm is gonna pull. Yeah, there you go. With your arm elevated, try not to shrug your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. If you want, can you get a little lower? These loops are so versatile. Lightweight, small enough to pack. If you wanted to take them on vacation, good. We're gonna put it back around our forearms and come into a push-up position. Hands are wide. You're already feeling tension. Nice big push-up. Come up to plank for mountain climber knees. Push-up for mountain climber knees. You know what else I like about this loop when you're doing push-ups? It really helps to keep you in alignment. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, hop in. Remember we're using that loop or just one light weight. Left foot is going back into the lunge. Arms over the head. Isolate through the core. Check in with those shoulders. Are they creeping into your ears? Creep them down and away. Okay, shake out those arms. Get ready to repeat that circuit. Maybe a quick sip. If you want to put it on for those bicep curls, right above the elbows. Shoulders back. Those bands are gonna to wanna to twist you in. I want you to open, press against them. Hold it open. Go for it. Well, this is a whole new dynamic, isn't it? Exhale as those weights come up. 10 seconds. You got this. Three, two, weights go down, unless you're just using a weight for your lat pull. Right toe back, arms up. So you can hold a static lunge or option. You can add a little movement now. Dipping through that right knee as you drive down through that booty band. I'll take that side view. Run, boys, run. The devil's in the house of the 
less than 10 seconds. Good. Goes above the elbows again if you're using it for your push ups. Come down to knees, get set up, pinkies to the outside of your mat, chest forward. You can stay on your knees. If you want a little bit more challenge, come to toes. One push up, four knees drive up. Are you breathing? My arms are on fire. One more time. Hop up. Oh, we gotta do those lap pulls one more time. Left toe back, find your lunge, hold, pull. Try not to push forward in your lunge. I want you to drop straight down. Doesn't have to be big. Okay, quick sip. We're moving into our metabolic round. Okay, loop goes right above the ankles. Feet are narrow. Out and in, land in the out, four, three, two, in and out, land in the out, option, touch down, lift those heels. Fast feet. Touchdown calf raises. Three, two, pause. Woo. Okay, staggering our right foot back. We're gonna do a squat into a leg lift. Arms in front of you. Squat, leg lift, squat, leg lift. So it's a staggered squat. You are still loading up your front standing leg. Also known as a hack squat, right? Now move a little quicker as you do it. Make it a little bit more active. There you go. Good, grab one weight. Bring your loop right above the knees. Get down low. Duck. Shoot. So 
where we're using weight and the resistance loop as our intensity builder instead of plyometrics today. One more. Weight goes down. Loop slides towards the ankle again. Opposite hack squat coming. Left toe slightly back. Woo! I'm breathing heavy. Are you ready? If you're unsure of balance, what I suggest is putting your hand next to something. Stabilize with fingertips. Ooh, a little break. We repeat that circuit. Get a sip. Okay. Goes right above the ankles again. Fast feet. Touchdown calf raises. Start those feet out. Four, three, two, hold. Four, three, two, yes. Show me those agility drills. Last four, three, two. Whew. Right toe slightly back. Okay, hack squat into your leg lift. In three, two, here we go. Crouch down. So that foot that's not moving, Spread out your toes, press down into the earth with your whole foot so that you've got a nice, strong foundation. If the leg lift is too much, skip it. Ten seconds, please. Come on. Three, two, one weight, loop comes up above the knees. Low lateral touch into your overhead press. Here we go. drive that weight up. Don't just throw it up. Isolate. Drive it up with power. That power starts from the floor. Comes up through your legs and out through your fingers. Weight down, loop slides to the ankles. Left foot back. I know. Take a breath. In three, two, here we go.
Come on. Keep pushing. Recover. Get a quick sip. Final circuit. Core circuit. I'm gonna be using my lightest loop. Place it around the ankles. Comes in all fours. And then find your version of a plank. Hands are narrow underneath the shoulders. Walk down to forearms. Tap toes out two times. Walk up, tap toes out two times. Walk down, hold and tap. Walk up, hold and tap. You can absolutely do this with knees grounded. Tapping out. Last one. Hop up, take that loop off. Grab one of your lighter weights. Feet wide. Three, two, one, left knee. Three, two, one, knee. We're gonna stay focused on just one side. So it's three twists. If you want, press your palms into the weight. Four, three, two, good. Tabletop position. So you're gonna sit on your butt, place your hands underneath your shoulders, walk your heels in and lift your booty. From here, option, walk out, walk in, kick, kick. Modification, you can hold and practice a little release touching the knees and then you can build up maybe adding in the leg walk to a knee tap who tried step cello Five, four, three, two, one, wait, stand up. Twist starts to the left. Three, two, one, right knee. want press those palms into the weight three two little recovery we need to repeat that circuit one final time Okay, option, loop around the ankle for your plank series. Start in full arm. Knees can be down, knees can be up. Walk down, 
tap out two times, walk up, tap out two times. If you want a little bit more, those toe taps could be two plank jacks. seconds. Three, two, good loop off. We're officially done with loops. Grab one weight. Start twisting to the right. Three, two, one, pull. Depending on how heavy your weight is, will factor in how quickly you move. You don't wanna just be throwing that weight in the twist. You wanna move with intention. Like you're trying to press your elbows into somebody's chest behind you. One more. Good, tabletop position. Okay, walk your feet towards your butt, wrist under shoulders, fingertips in. Imagine there's a string holding your belly button. Option is just to gaze up and hold plank and work on some knee tap releases. Otherwise, you could try your walk out, walk in, releases. When you walk out and in, can you keep your booty up? I know it's hard. Last one. Grab that weight. Final exercise. Let's go. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. Right knee. upper body and torso nice and tight. Use your exhale. Ten seconds. <laughs> That's game, folks. We did it. Go ahead and put your equipment down. We're gonna take off our sneakers and get ready to stretch. I'm friends with the monster. Roll back, arms and legs long. Get along with the voices inside of my head. You're trying to save me. Stop holding your breath. Take a nice deep breath as you exhale, hug those knees in. I wanted the fame, but not the cup of a news week. Oh well, guess better can be juicy. Scoop out the belly button, imprint the lower back, rock side to side. Arms open, knees drop to one side. Up and over to the other side. Cool. 
walk your feet to the center, right toe to the sky. You could use a loop, you could use a strap, or you could just grab gently behind the back of your thigh. Just be careful not to tug the back of the knee. The same leg is going to cross over your bent knee. Open into your figure four stretch. Option is to stay grounded, breathing into the hips and glutes. Otherwise, you can pick it up. This should feel pretty good. The legs are going to stay crossed. The arms are going to open. Drop your knees to the opposite side. Nice spinal twist here again. A little bit deeper. Roll to your side, quad stretch. Rest on your bottom arm. Onto your back, left toe to the sky. Shoulder blades are starting to melt into the mat. That space between your ears and shoulders is increasing. We're gonna cross our left leg over that bent right knee. If you wanna pick it up for a little bit deeper expression of the stretch, you can. Oh, those voices in your head sometimes when you're working out, like, what are you doing? Why are we here? But then you get to this point and you're like, ah, oh, spinal twist. This feels so good. Roll to the side. I started off feeling like Night of the Living Dead, and now I feel energized and revived, alive. Press up into all fours. Give me a couple cat-cow stretches here, rounding through that back. A little tuck and sink, adding any extra movement that you need, loosening up those muscles. Good. We're going to sit back into our heels, chest comes up into our kneeling position, stack those shoulders, give me a couple rolls back. Good. Arms reach up, big breath. We're going to drop our left arm and reach to the side. Good. Switch it. Reach to the other side. Come center, press those palms forward, push away. And you are done. Fantastic job today. Thank you so much for coming to my Halloween edition. Can't wait to see you our next time together. Happy Halloween, everybody.